These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. Here! My head's spinning. Oi! Come out, you coward! Clever fucking beast! If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. It's locked, all right. It's locked. Dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. I have this thirst for blood. What will London have to say to me? I cannot enter. I have so many questions unanswered. Another corpse. Have the very strength. 
streets of London become a mausoleum. The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. Where has everyone gone? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. That's strange. The trail is very erratic, as if the killer was drunk or hesitant. At last, a little life. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blame the sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Has anybody entered the bar recently? I can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? I'll leave you to your bottle, then. Are they stupid or something? I've never even been to India.
Not long ago, this old mess would have given me a laugh. <coughs> it's locked, all right. Whoever he may be, the kill... Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah. Of course. I mean, i best check on them. I'll leave then. Thank you. My God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kinda rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. I need to meet this man. I have... questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir... Uh, yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. And who might you be? Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them, biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you.
You can't be serious. I'm not a... No. I can't be a... a vampire. Sir, believe me, this is very real. You are a vampire. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. And what exactly is this Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I'll end him. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. I'll leave you to your bottle, then. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. Well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop, he came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well, Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? <laughs> 